What's up, B Nation? Welcome back to the Ch Ch Channel. The Ch Ch Channel. We are back with another vlog. We're on the road right now, as y'all can see. We're on the interstate. Mountain State Park. We are going to Oak Mountain State Park, and we're going to have our family picnic. Again. Say hey to the vlog, babe. Hey guys. Yes, y'all. I'm so excited because it's still my birthday weekend. Let us not forget that. It's still my birthday weekend, so <laughs> we are on our way to Oak Mountain State Park for a picnic, and I'm so excited, y'all. I'm super excited. What are Y'all wanna see BJ? So y'all wanna see BJ? Hello? We just got in a car like 10 minutes ago. Hello? BJ. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the J -J channel. BJ. I'm sleep, sleep, sleep. BJ is knocked out. BJ always sleeps. Yeah, y'all, so BJ is asleep. As y'all yes. can see back there, this is he is crazy. knocked out. BJ is out for the count. He'll probably wake up by the time we get there. It's like 30 minutes from the house, so. BJ, I feel like BJ is always asleep when we do anything. Like, when we vlog, when we do videos, like, he's always asleep because when he's awake, we don't have time to be vlogging or, or doing any videos or anything because BJ, she be on TV, y'all. So, what we really need to discuss today, what's really on my mind while I'm driving is, why does it take so long to get kids ready and get them out of the house? Like, it's ridiculous. Like, oh. I be, I be tired before we even get to where we going. Like, being a mom of two and a wife and a, and, and a working woman, like, all of the above is just, it's a lot. So, y'all tell me, like, how do y'all do it? How long does it take for y'all to get two kids out of the house? I mean, I got ready last. I ain't even get ready for real. You know how y'all moms, y'all know how that goes. Like, I didn't even get ready for real. I was just like, just let me get them together so we can please get out of the house and at least make it to the park before the sun sets. So, well, let me ask y'all this: When y'all's kids get in the car, like, do they just randomly take out either a shoe or both shoes before you get to your destination? It doesn't matter if you're going 10 minutes down the road. Their shoe comes off. A shoe comes off, or both shoes come off. Let me give y'all the answer for hours. They are gonna take off both shoes. Like, if BJ was awake, both of his shoes would be off by now. And he would be barefoot, and he has on shoes, and he has on socks, and he would be barefoot before we make it to the park. Facts. Am I lying, babe? Why? Like, I, I don't understand. I don't remember doing that as a kid, but at the same time, it's like, why? Hello. Is it because they're bored? I used to hate when I pull up at school, and it's like I be in a rush, y'all. Like I be rushing because I'm like, ooh, I need to be in, a, I need to be working right now. Like let me hurry up, get them to school. I got a meeting that I'm trying to make, so let me hurry up and drop them off. I be so mad when I go to the back seat. I be so mad when you pull up to the school. And you go around to the back seat to get them out and you find out that they have taken off socks, shoes, everything. They just back there barefoot. Like I started having to add that into my schedule. Like, okay, add an additional five to ten minutes because you're gonna have to put the shoes back on for the kid once you pull up to the school. There's no such thing as just like pulling in and dropping off. It just, it don't work like that. Yeah, I know, like, there were so many times I dropped them off in school where they have taken their shoes off and then, like, I had to be somewhere by a certain time. <laughs> that one day, that one day, when you're in a rush, you see all the other moms, you see all the other dads in the hallway on the one day that you're running late. Like, 
and you you be like, cause you've been waiting. You know, they they like they feel your pain, like they know what you're going through. So you you be waiting to see them, like you're ready to talk to them. But then one day that you have zero time and you just trying to get these kids inside the daycare and just like run in the other direction. Like you're just trying to run. And it's the one day that you see everybody because you got a meeting today that you got to be to on time. And now you done ran into everybody you know at the doggone daycare center. And now it's like you're being rude because you got to get out. But yeah, it don't be, I'm trying to, I'm not trying to be rude. I just... I gotta go. Like these kids that held me up so much this morning, I gotta go. It's sad, for real, babe. We did, we gotta do our video on that. And then like, then you get on the interstate and traffic is like not the best. And then you're like, man, you know something? Screw the whole day. Just let me go back home and go to sleep and do it all over again. I had a meeting with my manager one day. It was at like 8 a.m. sharp. So I'm like, oh, Brandon, we gonna get them ready. I think I even did braids hair. I think I did her hair the night before. And put a, a, um, a, a tie around it. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna have time to do her hair in the morning. Anyway, I did her hair, everything was ready. So in the morning we got them up. All we had to do was like give them a bath, wash them up real quick, get them ready to go out the door. And got them to school like I started going down Morgan Road if anybody knows anything about Morgan Road it's a two lane road I started going down this road traffic was backed up the freaking wazoo it was backed up the wazoo and what was supposed to be a 15 minute commute it's supposed to be 15 minutes from like driveway to driveway what was supposed to be 15 minutes took me like 45 Y'all, I'm not even lying. It's like 45 minutes. So I'm like, oh my God. And I had gave myself a 30 minute cushion. So I'm like, okay. I'm still good on time. No, because coming back out, traffic was backed up on the second lane of the street. Like it was just awful. Let me not even skip over. Like when I dropped them off at school, I saw several people that I knew like in the hallway. Was talking to them, was like, girl, I would love to chat but gotta go because these I'm on my way to a dog home meeting these kids that already put me behind today and I'm just trying to make it there on time needless to say got caught in bumper to bumper traffic on the way back out a 15 minute commute y'all 15 minutes driveway to driveway took me 45 minutes and then from the other place like going to my destination from the kids school took me an additional like hour and five minutes and I was like you know what what is life like why 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 do, why do we parents have to go through this like this is just freaking crazy I got up at 4 a.m. I'm tired to be on time for 8 o'clock a.m. It was still late. Hey guys, we're here now. We are here. Let me see. What's up, y'all? Okay, guys, let's go. Tell them, hey, BJ. Hey. I got a phone right here. Okay, let's go, guys. Okay, we're going straight to Mommy right now. We're going straight to mommy right now, guys. BJ, come here. Say hey, mommy. Hey, guys. Okay, guys, we're coming over here. Hey, we're stepping in the grass right now. Look my ring. Can I see this ring? I, I know you guys can't see it because we're pretty far. And look at our basket. You guys see it? Yeah. Come on, me dear. We found the perfect spot for our picnic. Babe, back there, he got the drone. Brand and BJ. But yeah, we found the perfect spot. It's in a shady location. We have our little. 
Get out my way. 